going to make. This design is using two different colors of bicone crystals. This design was made using one color of bicone crystals. And this one is another design using two colors of bicone crystals. This bracelet is designed to coordinate with this necklace. So let's talk about the materials that we're going to need. For this bracelet, you're going to need four millimeter bicone crystals. You can use either two colors or one color. Um, about 23 of each color will make a seven inch bracelet, seven and a half with the clasp. Um, you're going to also need super duos, as well as 11 o Toho seed beads and two six or eight seed beads to connect the clasp with jump rings. So let's get started. I'm using a size 10 needle with six pound fire line, and I'm going to start by putting on a super duo and three 11 o seed beads. And I'm going to string that on. And I'm going to go back up through those four beads to form a loop. And I can tie a knot. Then I can go back up through the same hole of the super duo. And we're ready to start our first row. This bracelet's going to be constructed in three main steps. We're going to make one side of the bracelet and then turn and make the other side of the bracelet and then we're going to zip them together at the end. We'll start by adding two 11 o seed beads and going down through the other hole of the super duo. Then we'll add a super duo, a crystal, and an 11 o seed bead. Always check both holes of the Super Duo when you put them on your needle. Then I'm going to kind of hold the crystal as I go back up through the crystal and both Super Duos. Next, I add two seed beads and go through the last hole. Then I add a super duo, checking both holes, and an 11 o and I string that on. And I go back up through both super duos, making sure I'm not going through any of the seed beads along the top here. I'm just going only through the super duos. Add two seed beads and go through down through the end. Super duo crystal 
and 11 OCB. String that on. And I'll hold the crystal as I go through the crystal and both super duos. And this thread that I started with is sort of getting in my way, so I'm going to try to pull it out of the way. I add two seed beads and I go down through the end of Super Duo. Super Duo on seed bead, string that on. And up through both Super Duos. So we'll just keep alternating, adding the crystal, just the seed bead, the crystal, just the seed bead. So next, we're going to get ready for the crystal by adding two seed beads and going down the edge. Adding a super duo crystal and seed bead, stringing that on. Hold the crystal as I go through the crystal and both super duos. Add two seed beads and go down through the last hole of the super duo. Add a super duo and seed bead, string that on. And go through both super duos. And again, add two seed beads and go down through the last hole. And we'll just keep repeating this crystal, seed bead, crystal, seed bead, crystal, seed bead until we have our desired length and we have done our last crystal. So I will continue until I've put on my last crystal and we'll teach you how to turn and start the next row. Okay, I've just put on my last crystal. So I'm going to show you how to end this row and start, uh, turn it and start the next row, the other outer edge. So we add two seed beads and go down through the edge. We add three seed beads and go down again through that same hole, same direction. Next, we're going to put on eight seed beads, a super duo, and three more seed beads. And we string that on. Then, we're going to go back through the super duo and the last three seed beads. so that it'll go around the tip of that super duo. Then we want to go back down five seed beads
turning around here. I've just gone through these five seed beads. We add an 11-0, a six or eight seed bead and an 11-0. And we wanna go back two seed beads from where we're coming out and go up all five seed beads plus the super duo. And only the super duo. Next, I want to go back down through these three seed beads around the edge of the super duo. One, two, three. Then I want to go down through three seed beads along this edge. And then through the three seed beads I added. So one, oops, two through the large seed bead, through that third seed bead, and through the last three seed beads. I'm going to turn it around. So these last three seed beads and then and the super duo. Now we flip this around and we're ready to start our next row using the other color of, of crystals. Start by adding two seed beads and going down through the other hole of the Super Duo. Add a super duo, checking both holes, crystal and seed bead. And we go back up through the crystal and both super duos. Pull that tight. Add two seed beads and go down the other edge. So this is just pretty much the same as we did it on this row, but now we're going this way with the other color. Add the super duo and seed bead, string that on, and go through both super duos. Being careful not to go through any seed beads along this edge. Add two seed beads, go through the tip of that super duo. Now we've done a crystal and a seed bead, so we're ready for another crystal. Add a super duo, a crystal, and a seed bead. String that on. Back up through the crystal and two super duos. Add two seed beads and go down through the tip of the, the other hole of the super duo. Add a super duo and seed bead. And back up through both super duos. Let's repeat that one more time. Two seed beads. 
down through the other hole of the Super Duo. I have a Super Duo, Crystal, and Seed Bead. Can hold the crystal as I go back up through the crystal and both Super Duos. Have two seed beads and go down through the last hole of the super duo. So we're going to continue. As you can see, the, the crystals sort of slant a little bit, but they're slanting the same way. Um, so we are going to continue um, this all the way uh, to the other end. And it's okay if these twist around or whatever, um, it's the last step that kind of locks them in. So just continue this until you have exactly the same number of crystals as on this side. Okay, I've just put on my last crystal of the second row. And here is where we want to connect it to the first row at the other end. And this part, it's important to make sure you're not, none of your um, your sides are twisted. So, um, so it should look like this before we uh, can connect it. Okay, so we add two seed beads and go down through the tip of the Super Duo. We add three seed beads to go around the edge of the Super Duo. So we go back down through the hole, same hole, same direction. Next, we put on eight seed beads. And here is where we go up through or down through the, um, the last hole of this Super Duo that we started with. Making sure that both of these are straight and not twisted. Because we are connecting the two back on the other end now. Here. We want to go back through the three seed beads on this end. So one, two, three. Then, like we did on the other end, we're going to go five seed beads. Pull that tight. Then we'll add an 11 O, a six or eight seed bead, and an 11 O. We want to go back two seed beads from where we're coming out and go continue up through all five seed beads and the Super Duo. Here we want to go through the three seed beads along the, uh, the, the edge here. One. two, three, and then we'll want to go down three seed beads on this side. And through the three seed beads we added, 
one. Two through the large CP. Three. And then we want to go up through the three seed beads. And then we want to go back through these three on the edge. One, two, three. And then we want to go down through the super duo and two of the seed beads on this side. And here is where, where we're going to start zipping the two sides together. And we want we don't want it like this to make this. Too. We want the uh, crystal that we started with to be um, between these two that we ended the second row with. We add four seed beads. And we want to go through this seed bead that's between these two crystals. We want to go back down the fourth seed bead that we had put on before. Pull that tight. And we want to repeat that in this opposite direction now. Add four seed beads. Now we want to go through this seed bead that's in between these two crystals. And we want to go back up through fourth one we put on and pull that tight. Repeat that, put on four, and we'll want to go through the seed bead between these two crystals. And go back down that fourth one that we put on. Pull that tight. And you can kind of see how they're st we're starting to zip the two sides together. Let's repeat that a few more times. Add four seed beads. And we want to go through the seed bead between these two crystals. Go back up through the fourth seed bead. And pull that tight. this thread out of the way there. Now we add four seed beads and we want to go through the seed bead between these two crystals. And then we want to go back down through the fourth seed bead that we added. Pull that tight. 
do that one last time. Add four seed beads and go through the seed bead between these two crystals. And then we want to go through the fourth seed bead. Pull that tight. So we want to continue this zigzagging all the way to the other end of the bracelet. All right, I'm almost at the end here, um, and I'm going to continue adding four seed beads and then going through the seed bead between these two crystals. They are the last two. And then back through the fourth seed bead. Now here on the last one, there are no more, there's just one crystal here. Um, so not going in between two crystals. We're gonna end it with this last zigzag by putting on three 11 O's. And this time we wanna go through um, the two seed beads before the super duo and the super duo. This is pretty much the finished bracelet, but we want to kind of go through some, uh, weave the uh, thread through the piece a little bit before tying a knot. So I'm going to continue through the seed beads around the Super Duo. Um, through the Super Duo once again. And now I'll continue through a few more seed beads in the other direction. And here's where I can tie a knot. I put my needle under the thread between the two seed beads, go through the loop once and twice and pull. Now we just need to snip the ends and add the clasp. Okay, I've snipped both ends and now I'm ready to add the clasp. So I open my jump ring, feed it through the large seed bead, add the clasp, and close it. And on the other end, I just add a jump ring. Open it. Feed it through the large seed bead. And close it. And now we have a working clasp. And this is our finished bracelet.